So, hey everybody, it is Mars, and sorry for the crazy makeup, but I just did the, a makeup tutorial on this. It's for my animated makeup series, so um, if I upload this before that, I'll put a link to it somewhere like here. But, um, you're in my kitchen today, and I figured I was going to do um, a haul, but of the weird shit I bought at a Tokyo Tokyo market, Asian market. So, yeah. I usually like, because like I'm obsessed with like Japanese cultures and it's like the stuff that I see in anime. I'm like, ooh, I want to try that. And I actually try it. And it's like some of the shit is really good, but some of the shit I've never heard of. And so I just buy it. And half of the stuff I can't I can even understand what it says on there. But, anyways, let me just show you what I got. Okay. So, uh, this was just like a random, I went in completely buying random shit. Um, quality of yesterday, taste today. And it's called Special O-Tap Puff Pastries. And I had one yesterday. They're pretty good. They come wrapped like this. Like, I've seen them before but I don't know what they're called. It's just like, like puff pastry with like sugar on it. Very good. And like these were like $2.99. The main reason I go to these places is for chopsticks because like I'm obsessed with chopsticks because if I eat ramen or anything like Chinese food, I must have chopsticks. It's a must. Um, udon, and this is Japanese udon, and it was, oh, the chopsticks were, you get like this many for five fifty. That's a crap load. Okay, so this is Japanese udon, and it looks like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, if it's glaring or not, but it was $2.29. I've never seen these before. And I usually like getting the, sh they have like ebby, sh ebby, ebby chips, which are like shrimp flavored chips and crackers and stuff. So I actually wasn't, oh, I couldn't find anything that I wanted to try. So I got these and these are called Oishi pillows and they're choco filled crackers. They're just like crackers filled with chocolate. I've yet to try them. But yeah, I got one for me and one for my neighbor. It's called Hana Gatsumi. Um, it's an assortment of Japanese-style confections that colorfully, um, that co colorfully colors the time and relaxation. So they look like this. I love the packaging. It's like so funny, like the family, and then like, oh, be careful with the paper kind of thing. At least that's what I think it says. But they're really good. It almost tastes like it has, like, I don't want to say it's, like, well, yeah, it, it does kind of taste like red bean paste, but with, like, a really, really airy cracker, like, I don't know. They're really good. And those were, like, six-something. Those were a little bit more than the regular stuff. And then I got some Korean biscuits. I don't know why I got them. They just looked interesting. Um, yeah. They're just biscuits. They almost look like they had seaweed in them. Whatever. So I got Papam Neg Neoguri 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 Udon type noodles, spicy seafood, like ramen family pack. And this was $5.50. Okay. So whenever I watch anime, whenever the kids don't have, whenever I watch anime, like, the kids have, they eat bread. But, like, different types of bread. Like, anpan or curry pan. I've always wanted to try curry pan. But, um, so I got this, which is red bean bread. And... Like, a lot of this shit is actually really good. 
So this is red bean bread, and this was a dollar twenty-five. And then these are just kind of like, like it's like a sweet bread. It like oh, this one is also a it's it's called a wheat cake with red bean bread, and they're filled with stuff, but they're really really good. I had one that was like green tea flavor yesterday, and that was also a dollar ninety-five. And then they have the pastry ones, which are chocolate. This one was like two thirty nine, but it's chocolate, and it's like the bread, and it's like marbleized. What's the matter, baby? Like marbleized with chocolate and yummy stuff. And then I got frozen soft bread, and this is a dollar twenty five. So it almost looks like sponge cake but with like soft cream inside for like a dollar twenty five. You okay, baby? And then if you watch anime, in every like, what is it? Like every Christmas like special or every, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? I don't know, but they always make roll cake, like roll cake. I got roll cake. I don't. Even, I think like it's Swiss roll cake marble by Happy Clover. I don't know. My weird fascination is just to try this shit that they do, so that I could like. I don't know. I'm a fucking weirdo. I got like a bunch of drinks, like. Mugu, no, Mugu Mugu orange juice drink, but it's got like this weird stuff in it. I don't know what it is, but I had to have it. Everything weird I had to have. And then they had strawberry. Look at the stuff that's in there. And then I got pineapple. And then this is leek, leech drink, which I've never had a leech, but I own like, I bought some because I saw it on an anime, but I have yet to try it. I don't know if it's any good. But then the last one is mango. These bitches right here are fucking amazing. They are um, sweet red bean buns. And you put them in the microwave, and you put them with like a moist towel around them, like for a minute, and they are fucking amazing. So, that's all the stuff I got at the Asian market. Um, they have like so much stuff that I want to buy, and if you watch like a channel on YouTube, which is called Cooking with Dog, if you go to my channel, like my actual channel, it's going to be under my recommended video or recommended channels, Cookie with Dog. And they have like an authentic, everything like authentic for Japanese cooking. I think I'm going to make something now that I know, like, that I actually see some of the stuff that they cook and I know the name of ingredients now. But yeah, so what kind of weird shit do you guys buy?